including from the 171 passengers who were on board Alaska 1282. Alma McCarty, you talked to one of them tonight who was sitting just a few rows away from that blast. Alma, what did she tell you? Well, da David, Kelly Bartlett has had a couple of days to process what happened. She was actually able to rebook that night after Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 touched back down in Portland. She tells me that was essential, getting right back on a plane right away. Although she was nervous, she said she needed that uneventful normal flight so she didn't develop a fear of flying. Now, Bartlett was sitting in row 23, three rows in front of the hole in the plane. She said just a couple of minutes after they got to 10,000 feet, she heard a loud boom, a rush of wind and the oxygen masks dropped. A scary moment for all on board, especially in those first several minutes as flight attendants checked on passengers. We've told you about a teen sitting in the aisle where the door plug broke off, whose shirt was ripped from his body. He ended up sitting next to Bartlett. She checked on him using her notes app due to the oxygen oxygen masks and the noise. So I asked him, I said, were you sitting right next to that window? And he said yes. And I couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine the terror of what that must have been feeling like because I wasn't in that row and I was so scared when we heard that boom and the mask came down and that was scary alone. So I, I just cannot imagine what he or his mom were going through. Now Bartlett explained from there the descent was as normal as it could be given the hole in the side of the plane. When they touched back down 10 to 15 minutes later, everyone cheered, grateful for the flight crew and for the pilots who kept the whole situation under control. I'll have more from Bartlett coming up tonight at 11. David? 177 passengers and crew, and we are so glad and grateful they are all okay. Thank you, Alma.